Hello everybody, it's Aaron. Welcome back to the Mod Sauce. We've got a missile silo. I was sick the whole weekend with a sinus infection and a fever and stuff, so my voice might sound a little off, but I'm going to go ahead and try to record an episode. We'll see how it goes. Um, this is what I've done. I had a lot of help from uh, Fuego with the inside. I'll show you that in just a minute. But this actually opens. It's functional. And I wrote a little uh, computer program to open it and close it. But for now, um, I want to do it with the lever so you can see it. Because you cannot see it from where the computer terminal is. So if we flip the lever, draw bridges open, flip it again. They close up. So I didn't invert the signal. So if it doesn't get a signal, they're open by default. So let's fly in here and check this thing out. It's just a big black hole. Little control room and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about these lights. There were a couple of them, but these were the only ones I could craft. So I put them up. And um, I'll turn on night vision so you can see. Uh, I really didn't worry about the roof that much. And I had initially made the walls with this stuff, which they look good here or there. But when you make a whole wall out of it, it looks like, as in Fuego says, grandma's old wallpaper. So I swapped it out for, for this stuff. And I, I just left a couple of blocks here or there. Uh, just to kind of break it up. And then I use that knock stuff on the, on the bottom. I really like this stuff. It just looks like nothing. It's like there's not even a block there. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't worry about hiding that wiring. I'm never going to go down there anyway. So, um, Fuego did all of this. And, um, I want to say thanks to him. I told him, but, um, a public thank you and appreciation the computer here i put a wireless redstone uh, transmitter behind it so there's a program that runs when the thing starts up i'll show you the program real quick i'm sure this could be done a lot better with functions and stuff but i don't know anything about that so basically it boots up and the door is closed by default and then it basically asks you if you want to open or close the door. If you type open, then it takes away the redstone signal and prints the door is opening. And if you type anything other than open, the door closes. So you can either just hit enter or the space bar or whatever. So if we reboot this, once it starts up, it goes to this program and the door is closed. So if we type open at the terminal, it says the door is opening and the door will remain open until we type something else on the keyboard or the server reboots or maybe the chunk is unloaded and reloaded. I'm not really sure about that, but um, I'm pretty happy with it. It does what it needs to do. See, I just typed the letter C, and it should close it, right? Yeah. Uh, so, I also discovered this thing called the delay button. And I don't want to show you the hallway yet, but what it does, you can see it kind of count down there. It just delays how long it gets a redstone signal. So, I put a little door here, nice little hallway, nice and bright leading from the turbines and reactors. We probably should have come in this way, but I didn't think about it. Either way, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I can only take credit for the mechanics and stuff. And, um, you know, I did all out here. And like I said, Fuego did the inside. Uh, so I think it's about time we make a rocket and collect some oxygen. So we'll zip up here. 
Um, I made a bunch of plates, just a bunch of all the kind of plates I think we're going to need. Oddly enough, I figured out how to make titanium. I had to put magnesium and that rudel dust in the smeltery and the, um, the rutile or rudel dust, this stuff, when you melt it down, it becomes impure titanium. And then the magnesium, I guess, purifies it to regular titanium. And then you just make um, your plates in the compressor like usual. So I want to go ahead and make the rocket first. And we need to make the NASA workbench. This thing, it's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully I have all the stuff in there to make it. Let's grab one of these. And what do we need? Steel plates. I probably should just dump all this in the ME since I craft everything from there. Yeah, so we'll throw those in there. We'll see what we're missing. Looks like we're missing a lever, which I have. And a redstone torch, which I don't have. All right, NASA workbench. I may make a room specifically for this thing. It looks really cool. I don't think we can fit in there, but... Uh, if you right click on it, you get the interface and I don't know how to unlock schematics. Oh, it says right there, you unlock them by completing dungeons or yeah, completing dungeons on planets and moons. So right now we can only make a tier one rocket and I want to put some storage on it, probably three chests just because. So this is all the stuff we need to make. We need a nose cone. Looks like eight plates, the rocket engine, and four fins. And they give you the recipe in there. So let's um, let's just grab all of these except for the titanium because I'm pretty sure we don't need that yet. The only thing I think it's really for is armor and the walkway, which you can combine with um, the oxygen pipe or the aluminum wire and it makes a like a walkway with a wire underneath it. So I guess it takes up one block space. I don't know. So it showed me something just a minute ago. I guess I clicked it over here, right? Yeah. So we're going to need eight of those and then four per fin. So what's that, um, 24, 16 and 8, 24, and then 4 more, 28, and then I don't know about the nose cone. So we're going to need about a half a stack of these. So let's make those, we'll put them all together. This one might be kind of a pain, I'll throw everything in the ME and then, uh, We'll just craft them all. Well, I didn't make any aluminum plates. So what I'm going to have to do is make a couple of stacks. And then um, we'll have to compress. Where's my rocket? We actually have to compress the plates in the ingot compressor. I didn't do any aluminum. I didn't realize that was a thing. So let me make some of these. And I'll go ahead and put them all together to this. And I'll be right back. Okay, all my plates should be just about done. Hopefully, we don't have to make any more. So there are those. We're going to also need to make the fins, which shouldn't be a problem. Well, I guess I could put them all in there. We need four of those. And then I think we just need the nose cone. And then we just put it all together. That one's actually pretty easy. I think that's it. And then I'll put the chests on there as well.
Let me get the chest first. Nope, wrong one. I'm not sure uh, if you have to hit create or something. Or if it just starts making it once you put in the final piece. I don't want to risk not making it. Okay, there we go. Alright, ready? Look at this. I'm holding it above my head. This is how big the rocket is. There are different tiers of rockets, but I don't know if they hold more people or what. So we also need a launch pad, which is a pretty easy recipe. You need nine and you get nine from the craft. So that's really good. It's not like one of those things where you need nine and you get eight per craft and then you end up with seven left over. So let's go put this thing out here. Or in here, rather. And this just goes in a three by three. Or three by one, I guess. And then once it has made, you see it pops up. And then we just do this and put our rocket on the launch pad. Yeah, look at that. Sweet. So there's no fuel or anything. I think we can get in it. Yep, we're in it. You can hit F5 and change your view and look out the little window and stuff like that. I'll need to load some rocket fuel first. So it tells you if you mess something up, shift dismounts just like a minecart. So I actually want to, um, I want this to face so I can, I want the window to face that way. I don't know if that'll do it. No, it always faces south. Not a big deal. So, we're going to need to refine some fuel. I found a, a bunch of oil. I loaded it in a drum. About 1,800 buckets of it. Uh, we're going to need to collect some oxygen and make some solar panels. So, let's do that first. The Refining the fuel is pretty easy. That is the wrong solar panel. There it is. So if we put the thing down, look how cool it is. It actually rotates to face the sun at all times. And... I didn't know that you could uh, disable it. That's pretty cool. And this side is the one with uh, the power. So they always face. So the power goes um, north or south. So the panel can actually rotate and follow the sun. Actually, you can spin the bottom of it. I did not know that. That's pretty cool. So it doesn't matter where you put them down. You can spin the bottom around so your power output goes wherever you want. So there are our solar panels, and we're going to need the oxygen collector. All right, we'll get some aluminum wire, and we're going to need some oxygen pipe. Pretty easy, it's just glass panes. We'll get a quarter of a stack of those, and then we're going to need oxygen canisters or tanks. The heavy tank is steel. Copper for the light tank and the medium tank. I think we'll just go for the big one for now. 
Might as well. We have the resources. No big deal. Oh, uh, but I actually need red wool. So, we're going to have to dye it. This is where the Batania stuff comes in really handy. If you get all the uh, floral powder. And it, look, it lets me do eight at a time. Cool. All right. So we'll just make one of these for now. I'm pretty sure it holds a hell of a lot. So what we've got to do is put this near a tree. The collector, anyway, needs to go near trees. Because it gets the, um, the oxygen, like, from the leaves, I guess. So, see, I think the... I don't know which side is power and which side is... Okay, well, that makes it easier. So that's the power side. This is the oxygen side. Yep. So we'll just run a few lengths of each. And then we'll put our... Actually, I didn't mean to put that one there. I want the collector here. Still works that way. Pretty cool. And I think we can just pop our tank in here. Though we don't have power yet. We're going to fix that momentarily. Let's run our cable this way. And then we'll throw our advanced solar panels. right here and of course none of them connected so now we've got power for this guy you can see that oxygen is building up in the buffer and it's collecting I guess 180 units a second and this is storing the oxygen I think we're going to have uh, more than enough. So I think that is probably my time limit for now. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I'm going to make probably six or seven of these things and just kind of store them. And then um, what we'll have to do when we get to go to the moon, we can bring some trees with us. And we can actually make oxygen from trees on the moon. But we need to have a little bit of a buffer so that we don't die. So basically what we'll do is we make a bunch of these, fill them up. We get to the moon. This is a compressor. We make a decompressor. We can empty these tanks into um, a sealed base on the moon and use that until we actually make the oxygen collector on the moon. So that looks pretty cool. I really like those solar panels. I really like that they track the sun. That's pretty awesome. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them down below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.